Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the flyback converter design for input 24 volt and the output 12 volt 1 ampere. Okay. So in order to design this flyback converter, I have used the LT8306 IC from linear technology or analog devices. And if you look at the connection of LT8306, this is the input pin wherein I have connected the 24 volt input. That is 24 volt input. If I, if you right click on it, so I ha, I'm using this PWL and uh, the I'm generating the voltage from 0 to 24 volt with the time span of 100 microsecond, right? 100 microsecond. So now, then we have the capacitor 100, 100 microfarad capacitor. C2 we have 10 microfarad capacitor, and then we have the the enable pin voltage that is R1 and R2, which is 100k and 28k. This side you can connect the ground, and the other side if you look at here, uh, this is the gate of your lt8306 the gate pin and i'm connecting this gate pin to the mosfet q1 and uh, the mosfet drain is connected to the transformer if you look at it looks like a inductor l1 and uh, the mosfet drain is also connected to the uh, to the the diode d2 and the diode d3 that is snubber diode or snubber circuit okay this is tvs diode and this is simple freewheeling diode and uh, we are also taking the feedback from we are take also taking the feedback from this the drain pin and it is it is connected to the rfb pin of lt8306 and in the source of your mosfet q1 i have connected one six milliohm resistor 6 milliohm resistance and that is measuring the sense voltage in order to sense the current flowing through your mosfet or the primary peak current okay in the secondary side i'm using one diode for rectification and uh, this is the d4 gina diode and c3 the capacitor c3 and the load resistance that is 6 ohm that means 12 volt divided by 6 ohm is going to give you 2 ampere of current and the, the diode d4 i have used since i'm using simple one to one transformer that is l1 if you look at the inductance of l1 is 3 micro henry and uh, the inductance of l2 is 3 micro henry that means if you don't use d4 or gina diode here your the voltage at output is gonna be 24 volt since your turns ratio is 1 is to 1 okay and since these l1 and l2 are the coupled inductor you have to define the coupling factor between then k1 l1 l2 and the coupling factor is 0 0.9992 if you don't define this coupling factor that means your the transformer is not going to work make sure that mention the dot polarity here the dot is this side and other another winding the dot is that side that means both dot are in opposite polarity okay so if i run now the simulation and i'll show you the waveform so just go at here and if you look at this waveform so if you look at here this is the on time of your mosfet t on you can write it as a t on that means on time of the mosfet then after the on time of the mosfet we have the off time from here to here and this is called the t of time and during this time during this time your energy is stored in the primary winding of transformer is being free wheel to the secondary winding of your transformer the energy stored at t on time is now free wheeling at t of time okay then after the t of time if you look at here we have some delay time or uh, this is also called the blanking time tb okay or it is also called the valley time tv okay so in this time in this time td delay time there is a no switching of the mosfet and there is also no energy transformation from primary winding to secondary winding so during this time this 
time we don't have any MOSFET our MOSFET is not switching neither we are transferring any energy to the secondary winding that means during this time the delay time uh, the transformer and the switch sits ideal okay so now if you look at the drain waveform this is the drain current waveform during the on time drain current waveform if you look at here this is the DCM mode operation discontinuous conduction mode and why it is discontinuous conduction mode because at DD at delay time if you look at here we don't see any switching here your MOSFET switch ideal and during this time your diode current is completely zero okay completely zero and uh, this is on time current where your inductor is charging it like ramping like that and then you have the off time current the the, the id is zero the drain current is zero and again this is the td time current there is no current flowing through it and then again on time current okay that is how it looks like so if you look at here we see the ringing okay this point we have some ringing here and if you look at this we have also some switching waveform okay so the source of this ringing is the this is called the vro that means output reflected voltage and the source of this ringing is the leakage inductor llk and the cds drain to source capacitance of the mosfet okay so the source of this ringing is the leakage inductance llk of your transformer leakage inductance of the transformer and the drain to source capacitance and if you want to calculate the ringing frequency here that is given by f f and uh, f equals to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l leakage l l k into cds 2 pi l c root of 2 pi l c l l leakage and the cds now let's talk about the source of this ringing the value switching so this comes from the magnetizing inductance lm magnetizing inductance lm and the cds drain to source capacitance of your mosfet and you can easily calculate the switching frequency of this here and that is given by the switching frequency will be given by 1 divided by 2 pi square root of magnetizing inductance into the c ds drain to source capacitance so now you know what is the so source of your reflected voltage output reflected voltage this is called and you can easily calculate the ringing frequency uh, at this point and you can also calculate since you know the source of your value switching point here you can also calculate the the switching frequency of your value point and which is given by 1 divided by 2 pi square root of magnetizing inductance lm into cds if you look at the waveform here right let me further zoom to this waveform so that you will see at least how it looks like okay so uh, this clearly you see at this side okay this is the called the valley switching it is switching at this point here at this point and uh, if i zoom this to more and you, if you look at here this is your reflected voltage this is your reflected kind of switching this is your reflected kind of switching right so now let me show you the output voltage and the output current straight away so what is your output voltage and output current so your output voltage is this so this is your output voltage let me do like this this is your output current let's see what is your output current your output current looks like see okay so this is your voltage okay voltage waveform and which is 11 point if you look at here at steady state 11.68 and the current if you look at here it's 1.92 that means your output is 11.68 you see the ripple kind of thing this is your ripple voltage output ripple voltage okay 